Hey friends, it's Shannon here today with a reading for Aquarius. So not a general reading, not for the collective. However, we all do have Aquarius in our charts. So if it resonates, can absolutely be for you. All right, we're going to pull a couple Oracle cards and see what energies you have supporting you and also what energies might be a little bit challenging to you. And then we're gonna hop right into the tarot reading, okay? Supporting energies for Aquarius. Supporting energies for Aquarius. Interesting, full moon, if you can see that there. And lucky. All right, and then what energies are challenging Aquarius today? Magic and psychic. So right off the bat, guys, and we have shadow on the bottom of the deck. So it looks like with full moon and lucky being the supportive energies and magic and psychic being the um, energies that are challenging you right now, if I don't really get into the whole like um, witchy side of things, so to speak, um, like as far as getting together with other people and doing things like that goes. That said, there are people that do that as long as they are not harming anyone else, no harm, no foul, right? But I'm kind of getting the vibe that you've got some people around you here that are looking, that are looking to try and um, maybe like bursts into your, your personal art space without your permission. You have the full moon here and luck on your side. So I don't see this being something that like you should be very worried about. But, but again, let's get into the tarot cards. Let's see what it says. But that's definitely a message for somebody. So if you're into that type of thing, please do be careful. All right, let's see. What does Aquarius need to know? What do we have for Aquarius today, please? Aquarius. All right. Yeah. Okay, the central issue here is the Five of Wands with rivalry, okay? Whoever this reading is for, because usually I do general readings, so for me to be called to do an Aquarius reading and also a Leo reading, which I had planned to do after this, if you have significant Aquarius or Leo placements and this is resonating with you, some people are trying to affect your life. They're failing currently, <laughs> but you've got some gnarly vibes coming in and sorry, that was my dog. God bless you. In the bottom of the deck, we have seven of wands, bravery. Okay. So this definitely feels like some type of not physical fight that's occurring between you and some other people. Can you show me the recent past, please? What is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Why is this coming? What has Aquarius got going on in the past? The Ace of Wands with energy. So maybe you are new to this uh, group or new to working with energies or new to working with spirit and it seems like somebody is taking advantage of the fact that you you are new and maybe you haven't completely worked through this I mean how many of us have completely worked through our shadow or you're dealing with people who have this very very dark 
shadow. I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck here. That's why. Okay, so see the fire card right here? These are the bottom three. The fourth one's death. But we have fire, nature, spirits, and shadow. And like I said, I felt called to do Aquarius and Leo. The, the vibe that I'm getting here is you may be dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, I'm getting that vibe very strongly. So if you are an Aquarius, male or female, I'm not really seeing a gender specific thing yet. You need to watch, you need to be protecting yourself more as far as this is concerned, yeah, tend the wheel. So, so this might be something that you've actually gone through before. Can we please see the near future? What is happening? What is up with this rivalry? The Ace of Cups with fondness. Let's see, what's in the foundation? The Ten of Wands and what's crowning? Memories, so that's what's in your head. Um, and the Ten of Wands is where you're coming from. So it's almost as if, remember I said I saw the wheel, so it doesn't seem like this is the first time you've, you've been on this particular type of, you've been in this situation, a similar situation at least previously, okay? And it looks to me like you're looking back at that previous situation fondly, Although it doesn't look like it ended too good with the Ten of Wands here in the um, in the foundation. But for whatever reason, you are definitely thinking fondly of this and feeling some type of like, um, I'm drawing a blank here on the word, like your memories, you're thinking fondly of these memories here. And somebody is trying to just stop you from like getting to where you want to get. So, okay, so the energy is coming off of this. I see you as the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Also, the Ten of Wands, but this Five of Wands energy feels like somebody else. Okay, we have, um, we've got Scorpio on the bottom of the deck. So this could also have to do with something that you're feeling attached to, very attached to. Maybe this is some type of a group of people that you're hanging around with that are trying to make you feel like you're included but these people are out to do something nasty to you let me clarify the five of wands the four of cups again with the, with the devil again just came back out. It was just on the bottom of the deck and the tower. So this is all clarifying the five of wands. So we have the tower, the devil, and the four of cups. Now this is not going to be for everyone, but for some of you, this is, this is an addiction. And like you're completely uninterested in letting it go, right? But it looks like something on that, in that timeline, it looks like something is going to come through for you. And while it may not be easy, I do see you getting through that, okay? Coming out the other side. That's not the main storyline though that I'm being told. I'm, it's really, this is, I, I'm reading this as kind of like a warning about a group of people. Can I clarify, what is this Ace of Cups here with fondness? What are we looking at fondly after, whoa, after all of this? Page of Swords. 
Judgment. And then Knight of Wands. So with the Page of Swords, Judgment, and the Knight of Wands, I see you building up the strength within yourself to really look at the situation clearly from a logical point of view and call judgment where judgment needs to be called. Um, saying like, you know, look, I know that you guys are out here trying to mess with me, okay? And you're kind of over here saying, you know what? N no mas. No mas. This is BS. We're not doing this anymore. And with the full moon and lucky coming out as your supporting energies, I do feel like you are going to be able to walk away from this. These people do not have people, person, whatever this is, they're still dealing with their shadow aspects of themselves they're not in a good place to be attempting this and that's probably why they're doing it to be honest they're probably jealous of you for some reason it, it's probably something super petty and it's it's a shame because sorry let me just grab these it's a shame because we all have the capacity to do so much good in other people's lives and Instead of doing that, some people just want to see how much they can damage and like how far they can push others. And you don't deserve to be in that situation. Just because you're newer at something, they're going to treat you like you're their whipping boy? No, absolutely not. Let me clarify. Oh, bottom of the deck, we've got justice. Okay. Justice, Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Whoever this reading is for, you have a good heart. They are not going to be able to defeat that. Love wins out always over people trying to be negative, people trying to, you know, do other people dirty. Whatever these folks are trying to do, they're going to fail. They're going to fail. And deservedly so. Hopefully it teaches them a lesson. Usually with people like this, the problem is, is that they don't learn lessons. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave this at. I do kind of want to get into this a little bit further as far as who are these people? Why are they messing with you, Aquarius? What is going on here? Um, so check in the box below if this resonated and you're interested. I might do an extended reading. If so, the link will be down below. If not, I thank you all so much for being here with me today. That was definitely something important that somebody needed to hear. So if it resonated, drop me a like. I appreciate it a ton. It helps me out a great deal. Um, and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks for hanging with me for a little bit. See ya.